always fresh every day. You're watching Fastlane Daily. F1 is saved at the cost of a few hugs and kisses. Aw, we'll have more. Also, Jesse James gets a slap from the European motorsports community and a new Toyota Super resurfaces in the rumor mill. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're checking out Fast Lane Daily. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Jam, he was, he's, Alan's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> Formula One is saved, or at least that's until there's another fight in the sandbox. Kids. News this morning that the Formula One Team Association has come to an agreement with the FIA after late night meetings at the World Motorsport Council in Paris. Formula One was at risk of being split apart like a bad divorce due to a disagreement of the proposed new rules and budget caps for the 2010 season. After the late night meetings, Max Mosley, the current FIA president, was quoted as saying, there will be one F1 championship, but the objective is to get back to the spending levels of the early 1990s within two years. Adding to that, Mosley also said he would not seek re-election as president of the FIA come this autumn. With F1 hopefully saved for two more years, the next problem is getting Ross Braun out of detention for getting sand in Flavio Briatore's eye. Wonder what Ross Braun would do in detention. Ross Braun probably diesel powered F1 car. He would invent a diesel powered F1 car. And then throw spitballs probably. Just because. Okay. And Monster Garage star Jesse James is under fire from the FIA this week. Yeah, get in line. That after James claimed to have broken the hydrogen car speed record a feat that was taped for his Spike TV show, Jesse James is a dead man. James says he's piloted a 40-year-old streamliner powered by a turbocharged Chevy crate motor running on gaseous hydrogen. James' record-breaking speed of 199.7 miles per hour was recorded by the Southern California Timing Association. A sanctioning body for all land speed racing meets at U.S. sites like the Bonneville Salt Flats, El Mirage, and Muroc. Now the FIA is pissed and it's lashing out. One member of the motorsports body that manages Formula One racing, among other sports, says James' feet counts for nothing and is just a self-promoting TV racer performing a PR stunt. According to the FIA, the world's fastest hydrogen car is still BMW's HR2, which hit 185 miles per hour back in 2005. Are you guys nuts? That guy will kick your ass. Well, their ass. Though. Well, their ass, not you. But he would kick your ass, though. Yeah, that's for you. What, a grenade? Yeah. What's this for? I, I'm the producer. I don't okay. Know. I don't Next up, new version of the top line Lexus and hints of a new Toyota Supra resurface. That's an internet rumor mill, but first, don't forget to check out all the latest FLD shenanigans on Twitter. Uh, I'm your Barsky, man. At twitter.com slash Fastlane Daily. All right, it's going to be live. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get ready. Hold on. You ready? No, hold on. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Pull the pin. I'm here to see Helen. Best Job Ever is a weekly series profiling the coolest jobs in the tech space. Check it out at bestjobsever.net. Are you listening? Maybe you'll find your best job ever. We're going to check out some uh, studio space here in Belmar, New Jersey. Part of Derek D's contract is he no longer wants to commute to New York City. So we decided we were going to open up a studio in his hometown so he could just drive five minutes to work. really see serving Derek's smoothie right here. Paint the screen so Derek can host the show outside. So Derek's fans has... like like the Today Show. You know, we'll do a whole drive-in thing where we have waitresses on roller skates and the little things they put in the window. I, I don't know, guys. I think maybe a little, a little overboard with the grenade. I mean, it's still like smoking in here. Uh, all right. There's new word today from the Japanese media that Lexus could be going after the Mercedes top line muscle sedan, the S Class AMG. Japan's best car magazine reports Lexus is in the process of tweaking out its LS460 luxury sedan. Oh. You okay? I'm, I'm all right, a little, a little off. Can you do this? Yeah. But best car says it won't carry the same F badge as its entry performance sedan, the, uh, the, I the ISF. 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 
where it is the factory tuned LS460 will instead wear the new moniker of an SC. SZ. SZ. Best Car says the prospective LS460 SZ will get a full body kit with a powder coated, powder coated, powder coated black grill, Brembo brakes, and alloy wheels from BBS. <sighs> the magazine has no word on whether or not the SZ model. We got to do this again. No, SC model. SC model will be the status quo in the engine compartment, or if it'll even come to the U.S. But if it does, say the Japanese Lexus. Oh wait. No, the Japanese Lexus LS460. But but it does say the Japanese Lexus LS460 SC is expected to retail for the equivalent of ninety-four thousand four hundred twenty-five bucks, or around twenty-three thousand packages of beef bandages. I can I could use a couple bandages. That's a good deal. Beef. I, I said that. And over at the company's Toyota division, there's a new word the company is on track to deliver a revived supermodel. Fansite 7 Tune says insiders insist a sports coupe based on the 2007 FTHS hybrid sports car concept is in the Toyota pipeline. Whereas we could see a test mule by late 2009, powered by the same hybrid synergy drive system as the Lexus GS450H. That's a 3.5 liter V6 hooked to a permanent magnet electric motor together producing 340 horsepower. The GS450H can get from 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds, though who knows what the performance figures might read in a lighter sports car like the FTHS. Details are still few and far between, but 7Tune says we could see a debut at this year's Tokyo Motor Show ahead of a production release in 2011. Good job. Thanks. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. I'm kind of seeing double, but you guys check out this, uh... Close your eyes. Okay. Oh. All right, thank you. But you guys check out this video from fan, from a fan named Austin, and uh, if you haven't sent in your video yet, you do it. Now there's a few reasons that I like Fast Lane Daily, and I'd love to share them with you. So let's get down to business. Number one, it's fast. Everybody loves fast stuff, like fast food, except fast food's not as good as Fast Lane Daily, so that's a bad comparison. Number two, it's fresh. It's fresher than fast food, which is good because. That'd be god-awful if it wasn't. And number three, it's fast and fresh, and it's every day, which means that it's still better than fast food, because fast food is not everyday kind of stuff, you know, and it's free, too. Fast food is not free, so there you go. Fast, fresh, every day, and it's free, and those are the reasons that I love Fast Lane Daily. And Derek, these are pretty cool, too, so there you go. Those are my reasons. Enjoy.